So my research is in adult T-cell leukemia lymphoma, which is a rare T-cell malignancy of T-cells infected with the HTLV-1 virus. This is a challenging disease to study outside of Japan because it's just not that common. In the U.S., there are about 120 estimated new cases per year. But essentially, patients with ATL have a poor prognosis. On average, only survive about a year and the current available options are limited. So my colleagues and I, we conducted a, the largest randomized prospective clinical trial looking at a new agent called mocomeluzumab versus investigator's choice chemotherapy for patients with relapsed refractory ATL. So mocomeluzumab has been approved since 2012 in Japan where this disease again is much more common. Uh, but patients outside of Japan don't have access to it. So the point of this study was to see if it was efficacious in different populations. Mogamaluzumab is a monoclonal antibody, humanized, that, that targets chemokine receptor 4, or CCR4, which is involved in T-cell regulation of the immune response. And it's on normal T helper 2 and T regulatory cells, but also overexpressed in a number of T cell malignancies. The expression in ATL is about 90%. So essentially, in this largest study to date in the relapse refractory setting, we enrolled 71 patients and we randomized them in a two to one fashion to receive either mogamaluzumab or investigator's choice chemotherapy. And essentially, to summarize what we found is that mogamaluzumab produced a respectable response rate of about 30%. But perhaps even more importantly, chemotherapy, the investigator choice options, those were pralotrexate, DHAP, or gemcitabinoxaplatin, had a 0% response rate. So this is a very promising therapy for ATL patients outside of Japan, and we hope to study it further. The company who makes it, Kiowa Kirin Pharmaceutical, is in discussions with the FDA now to try and advance its development. But essentially, the two lessons that I learned was that the standard chemotherapy options we have available to treat this disease have limited e efficacy, and this immunotherapy shows promise, and there's a lot of hope now for ATL patients who previously had limited options.